Yo, I hope you're doing fucking amazing because it's a fucking amazing day no matter where you are. I'm just trying to dodge dog poo right now. But um, today in this video, I'm going to answer three separate questions that I was asked in my Facebook group called Overcoming Stuttering Through Authentic Character Development. These, separate, these three separate questions were asked when I put out to the group, hey, what are, what are some things you are struggling with right now? And I'll answer it in a YouTube video. So I'm gonna bunch them up and answer it in one. If you want the ability to ask me personal questions to you, then you can also click the first link down below in the description. You'll get brought to my Facebook group and all you have to do is answer one simple question in order to get into the group. And my advice to you is do it as soon as possible because it's going to get big. It's going to get popular. Yes, I will narrow it down to only action takers, but I know there is a lot of action takers out there. So if you want the ability to ask me questions and for sure get your question answered, I would join right now before it gets too big, all right? Before you're competing with other people's questions. So that's my offer to you. So let's get this started right now with the first question coming from Maria. Maria asks, how do you deal with people that ignore you or when you speak, they look at you and they just don't look interested and give you that kind of blank stare and say you stutter they just don't give you the time of day and they just do not act interested that question came in from maria and she says like how do i not let my emotions drain from that how do i keep a positive mindset and not let negativity like in that form bring me down all right so there's a few things I want to touch on here real quick. The first thing is that that is your perception, all right? Just make that clear. As long as we're on the same page, that you're viewing her not interested, you're viewing her um, nonchalanceness, her, her just blankness, or whoever it was, that was based upon your own perspective. It is not reality, all right? You do not know the full picture. You do not know the full picture. Your brain makes up the full picture. Your brain says, she doesn't like me. She doesn't want to hear what I say. But in her head, it, it, it could be my boyfriend and I fought last night. I'm in, a terrible, I'm in a terrible mood. I don't have patience right now because my children are sick. Like, there's so many different things that you do not know, but your brain makes up one that usually serves you the least. That she doesn't like me, that that I'm not likable, I'm not lovable, I'm annoying to her. That's the first thing I want to show you, that your perception is not, real, not reality, not reality. No matter how much you think you know, it's not the full picture. It is not the full picture, all right? The second thing is that you are legitimately basing your self-worth off of external outcomes you cannot control. You are basing your, ex your internal self-worth off of external outcomes you cannot control. Let that sink in. Does that not just sound ridiculous? You cannot control how she reacts. You cannot control how he reacts. You cannot control if she's interested in what you say. She could just be in a bad mood. She, she, she could just be like this with everybody. But you are taking it on as your own fault. Someone doesn't want to hear me speak. That's a, that's a shot at me. No, not at all. Not at all not at all all right this is why a lot of people stay stuttering for a long time and they get caught in that negative self loop is because they constantly base their own self-worth off of external outcomes but the external outcome is based off your own perception of it and usually like i said at the very start 
it's not the most productive perception. Your perception is usually pretty shit. Your perception is usually one of the worst case scenarios. So if you're basing your internal value, how your self image, your self worth off of an outcome that you imagined through your own perception, through your own lens, that is not going to serve you at all, at all. All right. And the last thing I want to say is say she is a bad person. Say he is a bad person, a bad person, meaning a hurt person. All right. I don't actually mean bad person. This person is just internally hurt right now and is expressing that through the un the uninterestedness. All right. If there's one major thing that is a commonality among everyone with depression is a loss in curiosity is a loss in curiosity. That is a major, major trend. I'm not saying this person has depression. I'm saying this person is hurt. If they're not curious on what you're going to say, if they're not curious in this life, if they walk through this world with a blank stare, it is not your problem. Do not internalize that as your own fault. That is them. Leave it at that and filter them out. All right. Filter them out. If you do not want to see that face, if you do not want to get ig- ig- ignored, they don't have to be in your life. And if they're working with you, then just detach your emotions from their responses because it is not a reflection of you. It's a reflection of them. Have empathy for them. All right. That's for you, Maria. Let's go on to the second question. Second question comes from Haley and Haley asks, how do I open up about my stutter to people who do not understand? And this is a difficult process for a lot of people who stutter, but it's the most simple process. It's the process that you do it and you're like, why was that so hard? It is so simple. But this question comes from a spot of com- of complication that it's a hard and difficult process all right i want to make clear first that over complic- the over complic- over complication comes from you not wanting to get hurt that over complication comes from you wanting to stay safe wanting you to be in your bubble and that comes from your ego all right that comes from your ego And with that in mind, I'm not going to give you a scripted answer what to tell everybody because that means you will be scripted in your head. And anytime you're in your head, you are not truly authentic. You are not speaking your truth and it will defeat the purpose of telling people that you stutter if you just have a can line and you're not being authentic when you do it. All right. So that's the first thing I want to say. I'm not going to give you a can line. I will give you some guidelines though, and the guidelines will help you out a lot. And what the guidelines are is the first one is if you are coming from a place, if you're trying to tell people that you stutter from a place of, I hope they accept me. I'm doing this so that I get acceptance. I'm doing this so I get approval to stutter. Then do not tell people you stutter. Then you have to work on your carefreeness first build that muscle up and then once you no longer be like I can once you can then say to yourself I can I'm going to stutter and I do not need approval I do not need validation in order to do that then you can actually beneficially say that you stutter to people without feeding the wrong part of you that you're trying to unpeel all right that was deep I I hope that makes sense replay it again the last 15 seconds if it didn't fully catch in because that is deep um so that's the first thing if it's coming from a spot of i need validation to speak and stutter then don't do it work on the carefreeness first but let's say you're in that spot now and let's say you can speak from a point of vulnerability and you're just doing it so you can practice your authenticity so you can be you without any restraints you're not holding back whatsoever and you can show your true self if you're coming from that spot then i would suggest to bring it up nonchalantly if you make it a big deal they will make it a big deal and in turn with that they might treat you differently and that's not what you want you want to be treated 
as the same as the most fluent, perfect speaker in the world, all right? If they start to treat you differently because you're someone who stutters, that is not going to sit well with you. That is just a, a gross feeling. I know from many of my clients, that's the thing they want to get away from. I just want to get treated like everyone else. I don't want special treatment. And it's true because you're a human being. You're completely fucking normal. You just take a little longer to speak. You don't need to be treated differently. So bring it up nonchal nonchalantly. I will post in this next clip, next 15 seconds, um, uh, example of how I did it. Do not copy my lines. It just came naturally. This isn't my can line. It just came naturally. And um, I did it during an interview I was doing with a girl. And that's that. So watch that now. When you do like ad advertise that you have a stutter, like I don't know if you can tell, I still do stutter sometimes. Right. But it's gotten a lot better. Um, I hope that answers your question, Haley. Let's go on to the third and final question by Erf, by Erf, Efran. I think I always say your name wrong. Erfran, Erf, Erfran. All right, well, we're going with that, Erfran, Efran. Let's go answer your question now. Erfan Efran asks, how to stay relaxed when you stutter, or when, when you speak, right? He says his problem isn't that he cares so much about what other people think of him, anymore but he just gets frustrated when the other people can't understand him he gets frustrated when he stutters and there's still that miscommunication and they're just asking like what what did you say what did you say and that frustration builds and builds and builds how to stay calm in those situations <sighs> all right i'm gonna say a word here and then i will talk about it that is bright how to do that is actually empathy let's start with the flip side of empathy first which a lot of people who stutter i'm not saying this is you f friend but a lot of people who stutter are like this and it's entitlement it's i deserve to be heard it's you're gonna wait till i finish speaking till you speak and they get very dominant because they've been hurt before and they this is the way to put that front up to not get hurt again right but that doesn't serve you that doesn't serve the other person that is just a deterrent to connection so m so <laughs> empathy 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 why would you have empathy empathy for the other person because right now when you are frustrated what is the talk in your brain Fuck, why can't they get these words out? Fuck, why can't this person understand me? It's all about your feelings. And that's why you're getting angry. It's about your feelings, what you think is right, what should be happening right now. And it's not happening right now. So anger and frustration starts to boil up. But let's look at the other side of the coin. Let's look at the other person. They don't understand you. They are trying their best to understand you and you're over there getting angry about it because they can't. I am sure you have been in this spot before, F friend. Coming to let's say you went to a new country and you're learn and you're learning the language. Someone was trying to speak to you in the language, in a different language than you're used to. This is for everyone, not just you, F friend, but everyone someone's trying to speak to you in a language you're you're not used to and you're not understanding them what would you rather them do would you rather them see that there is a mis a miscommunication here and it's okay like we're, we're gonna work through this we're gonna get to the bottom of this and we're gonna understand what i'm what he's trying to say to you what he's trying to say to me and maybe laugh about it, like how silly this is. And then at the end, be clear in what you're saying. Or would you, would you rather him try to talk to you and you don't understand, but you're trying your best and you just see him getting riled up. Fuck. Like he's in, he's in his head. Why, why can't I speak right now? It's just so annoying. 
the other person does not know, this is your life. The other person does not know, you stutter. The other, the other person does not know that you are faced with this on the daily, trying to get people to understand you. So they are oblivious to why you're getting frustrated right now. They're, they're, they're just wanting to also hear what you have to say. It's your own built up anger that you have not released your own built up frustration that you have not released that's causing these individually individual situations to burst you with frustration just to trigger you and trigger you and trigger you because of these repressed emotions inside of you all, all right so i just want to end it with the most beneficial thing you can do is go on the side of empathy how is this person feeling right now what how can i serve this person the best not in the place of I want to get something from the other person. I want the other person to like me. But no, just what 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 can I do to serve this person best? Can I slow down a bit more? Can I speak a bit slower? Can I laugh a little bit and say like, sorry, this my words just aren't coming out right now. Or it would sound more like, sorry, my 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 words just aren't coming out right now or would you rather get bundled up in that anger and anger and anger that's up to you so i hope that answers your question as well Efren. now like i said if you want the opportunity to ask me these types of questions just like these members did then you can join my free facebook group i think all facebook groups are free down in the no they're not down in the dis, in the description be down in the description below and i look forward to seeing you there you will learn how to overcome your stutter through authentic character development just like i did just like all my clients are doing all right i love you click that link i want to see you there you have a beautiful face and your voice sounds fucking amazing especially when you talk slow and fast and medium paced, all right? Peace out.